guys my name is Hertha and we just moved to Finland from Austria and in this video I'm gonna tell you why we chose Finland after all and what other options did we have because many people are dreaming about moving abroad and the most of them know also in which country they would like to move in but we didn't know and we just knew that we have to leave Austria and as we started we were really open-minded there were some things what we wanted to have and also some countries which were never an option like Germany or Australia and then we were actually going the whole almost the whole world map through country by country and then I had some interesting options and the one country had the thing A but not the thing B and the other one not the thing C so every interesting country option what we had had its own pros and cons so what had a country have to become interesting for us um, one of the most important things was a german spoken education because i was always thinking that our kids will learn the new language but it takes time and at the beginning it's nice when you have so many things to solve and and other things to do it's nice that the kids are understanding their teachers and school friends and the second very important thing for us was the tax program because in Austria you are you have really high taxes so we were thinking that maybe it would be nice if you could just keep more your own money and what also was very important for us was the, that the political and economic situation is stable which can be difficult on these times and of course a country which hadn't lost their minds during the last two years like Austria and Germany did it's obviously not just about what happened during the last two years but also what will happen in the future I think if you are living in a society there are some rules you have to follow like don't steal or something like that but if the rules are molding into something which are just against common sense and science well you don't want to stay there and wait if it's getting even worse if you know 1984 or animal farm from george orwell well austria austria was a bit like those politicians were making so stupid rules and then constantly caught up by breaking these rules themselves so then i preferred a country which wouldn't be too far away from our finnish and austrian families and friends but stefan was suggesting also south america like argentina or chile and at first we were thinking that the weather should be should also be nice but then we realized that 
um, one country can have so many different growing and climate zones that it's not that important. I guess the education, politics and the taxes were the three most important things which immediately took some countries um, away. We had this book, our Auslander book, um, emigration book, where we wrote down um, our options and from every city or country pros and cons what we had as an option. So at the very beginning we were thinking about some cities where the German school was near like Barcelona, Lisbon, uh, Genoa or also Tenerife but um, then we quickly decided that we don't want to live on an island and from Argentina I wasn't that happy about it because nobody comes to visit you in Argentina on the other side of the ocean and then came Algarve which stole our hearts and was our first option for a very long time. Here is a list what we wanted and what was an um, absolute no-go, like um, German school must have, see, um, security, um, the kids wanted to have own room, mountains, um, um, warm, and plants outside, um, airport, it should be green, there should be um, forest, and what was a no-go was snow, mm, cold, and not and inland we wanted to be on the coast or somewhere where you have water and not Africa or not uh, Asia because we really like our culture and not North Europe because we were thinking that it's too cold and too dark here and it should also be not too expensive if it means um, the costs for the German school and the taxes should be worth it um, yeah and the first serious option Algarve in Portugal had almost everything except that it's very hot in the summer which wasn't my favorite thing because I really like more the cool weather and Portugal has this NHR program which allows you to save um, partly up to zero percent um, taxes but because our professions weren't included in that program it quickly became uninteresting for us because if you are paying um, like thousand euros per month for for the school and then 50, 50 to 60 percent um, taxes well it just isn't worth it after that our next option was Switzerland because Switzerland also has almost everything, low taxes and German school and otherwise also everything you want. There you can keep more your own money but of course pay more for living etc. But otherwise uh, Switzerland was still very attractive for us. 
it was also near and had mountains and very good cheese and chocolate mm -hmm. until we realized that it's also not that what we wanted in switzerland we could have that what we dreamed about but it would take time because you have to save so much money to buy a farm in switzerland except uh, in the italian part of the country so then we came up to finland because we hadn't really thought about it serious because uh, Stefan was also thinking that I don't want to come back here which was also the truth until I I put my bad thoughts aside for the family because um, Finland is a great country I just as I was leaving 2009 I was thinking that I'm not I'm not coming back because I was so happy in Austria then after months of um, researching and listing we realized that Finland truly has everything what we want to have and what also was great is that our children love Finland we have been here every year except 2020 and they they really love it here what was then what took us to Finland because Finland does not have an attractive tax program uh, the weather isn't that friendly and the health system is also not that good like um, in Austria but what you can have here in Finland is freedom and independency because you can buy such a crazy things with such a little money in Austria, in Tyrol, you would get like one room apartment and here with the same money you get a farm with uh, 10 hectares land what also was really important for us and what Finland truly has is the nature. The Finnish nature is really beautiful and there is so much space for everyone. There are also so many berries and mushrooms and maybe some herbs. And even here in Turku, where there are almost 200,000 people living here, you can walk hours in the forest and don't see anyone and that's, that's just perfect. As we decided that it could be Finland after all, then I really had to make some serious thinking work and I guess it worked because now I'm really happy to be here especially because the kids are doing so well and they are they are able to live normal life again go to school without any any weird stuff like in austria uh, of course you can't you can't go uh, somewhere or stay somewhere just for the kids because they are growing and they they will leave you so you have to think about yourself as well so the conclusion is that i guess we would be happy almost everywhere because we just can work our minds to think about hey it's great here and if you are planning to leave your comfort zone it's really important to prepare yourself Think about everything what could happen and all the positive things if I'm sad or something weird happens or uh, something which I can't really control I'm asking myself if it's helping if I'm crying my head off and then I realize no it doesn't help 
I just need to think about all the great things what we have or will have or what uh, happened or will happen or yeah just think positively because the happiness research is saying that um, from some person's happiness uh, there is 95% are what you are thinking about only 5% is about the real outside factors so thinking really helps at the end we just want to buy a nice little farm nothing serious nothing big but um, some some place where we can do our stuff other people do their stuff and because we don't have to care about other people's stuff and it would be nice if we could also just live in peace and quiet and that's why we chose Finland after all and I hope this video opened uh, why and which were our factors. Everybody should make their own list and think about what is important for me and which countries could be option and which countries can offer me these things what I want to have. If you have some questions or if I explain something weird or uh, if you have some wishes, just write me a comment. See you next time.